Hey everybody, this is JD79. Hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend. And, um, some people are going to say what I did. Well, ate quite a bit of ice cream. Um, went to park and exercise and stuff. I went to a scenic drive in New Hampshire along Route 119. Uh, went to all Kimba Farms and Bedford Farms and like this. And, um, yeah, it's taking a break from the video gaming realm and, um, Tonight we're going to be talk tonight we're going to be competing against um two of the popular um places um across uh, New England here which is involving here of ice cream. And uh, we're talking about Kimball Farms versus Bedford Farms. And um these are the two popular ice cream places uh, uh in New England here. Uh Kimball Farms is located in four locations. Uh, one near Jaffrey, New Hampshire, um, another one in Lancaster, uh, another one in Westford, and the fourth location is in Carlisle, uh, Massachusetts here. And um, believe it or not, be and believe it or not, um, both, both all these four locations are actually located near another popular spot here. Like uh, the Jaffrey locations looks like um, down the road is Manad Manadnock um, Park. You can climb a mountain there, so you can probably just sit in here. Um, Jaffrey, New Hampshire is located just huh, right near Davis Farmland, so you can actually go there at night for dinner and ice cream at the Kimball Farms in Lancaster. Um, <coughs> the one in Westford, believe it or not, is located right near Bobby's Ranch, so I can just, you know, after my horseback riding trip, I can just go there and eat some dinner or lunch, maybe some a little bit of ice cream, and go on the bumper boats. And actually, the Westford location is actually the Hartford, uh, Hart, uh, it's actually the um, central place of um, Kimball Farms, where all the um, ice cream is uh, uh, made here. And the one in Lancaster, um... Uh, excuse me, that's, uh, I already did here. The one in Carlisle is actually located at, um, uh, what is it called? There's actually a farm nearby, which is, um, Brooks Farm, like this here, um, which is, like, probably just north of here. That's actually the same place. I haven't been to Brooks Farms yet, um, but, um, and then again, why wouldn't you bring in the ice cream? Because, uh, actually that farm, um, Th that farm actually sells ice cream anyway here. But anyway, um, actually the Carlisle is somewhat located near um, Walden Pond, um, where th um, Henry David Thoreau uh, read a story th there here. And then there's Bedford Farms. Um, one is right now located on Route 420, 225, and 60, and 63, and uh, for 225 and 62. Uh, where these three roads meant, so it's pretty easy to find. Um, follow these routes and you go into the Bedford Farms, and there, the there's a second location that's just a few minutes away from um, Walden Pond. But first of all, we're going to talk about a rant on Dairy Queen, and... Um, as a matter of fact, you're going to be saying about these um, stupid, oh, Blizzard of the Month like this here. And yes, I actually ordered one of these uh, from Dairy Queens. Well, as you can see, it's a little bit melted in the video, but I mean, I still had an idea of what it was like when I, um, what, what it was like uh, when I uh, finally had this, um, ate in this, um, uh, blizzard back, uh, like you know, I was going into a park. Yeah, this is Hopkinton's. Uh, that was actually uh, Peggy Hopkinton State Park. But we're going to talk about this area, Queens. You know, all it is is basically vanilla ice cream with cakes into it. Well, you know, with just, just cakes into it here. I mean, ooh, you're going to advertise this spiffy little thing um, up on this uh, thing. Spiffy little. <laughs> Um, blizzard treat with a confetti cake blizzard. It's like, hey, man, it's like a birthday or something like that. Needless to say, I mean, <laughs> I can just, you know, just go into an ice cream there. You buy a large, um, scoop of premium ice cream, um, at any place. I mean, I suggest you, that I, I can, um, see, uh, I can probably, um, say that. Um, you can probably mix a couple more flavors into it and get something that looks like this, except it's better. 
and um, like this. But seriously, what is this? <laughs> it's this. It, 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 is this like you know, a uh, soft served ice cream in a cup with just a couple of mix-ins here? That's all of it is in, the, in these uh, blizzards, and they're just um, thinking about these. Oh, these blizzards are gonna be on Sundays over here. But you know, it's just basically what it is. It's just cake mixed in with the blizzard. I mean. And the, and, and and oh yeah, all these these are fan clubs. I mean, it's like yeah, Dairy Queen just wants your uh, money over here. I mean, that's what I'm gonna have to understand. I mean, that's what I have to say um, about Dairy Queen. I mean, and um, I just would rather just have a Oreo a hot fudge brownie uh, sundae here. It, not not to mention the last is that. Not to mention the thing is that the only two ice creams they they only have like two basic flavors. It's chocolate or vanilla. Um, on South Third. That's just basically it. I mean, Dairy Queen is and stuff. And not to mention the fact that their sandwiches and burgers and like this is, they're horrible. Um, I mean, I've been to, I've been to many Dairy Queens before, um, like try their burgers and they're just terrible. And I'm talking Dairy Queen. Why don't you start serving hard scooped ice cream? I mean, you're a freaking, um, your um, I, I mean, Kimball Farms like this, they have a grill and fence here. Even Friendly's has better uh, food. Friendly's, which sucks, have better ice cream uh, than they are here. Oh, boy. Um, I did, and yes, I did order this one, and it was exactly what I thought. It's just vanilla ice cream with cakes mixing into it. With just cakes and jimmies that mix into it. I mean... That's just basically a blizzard. And don't get me started about the blizzard makers and stuff because, I mean, um, many, many reviews uh, come out and are saying that the, these so-called um, stuff that comes in here that you put on the toppings here, um, I heard they're terrible. And the blizzard makers break very, very easily. And when when you turn on the handle, um, it has that little grinding noise that like there's. That was an indication of how, you know, hard these um, toys are. I mean, these blizzard makers, um, I mean, you're just better off getting a blizzard at Dairy Queen. I mean, if you want to make a real blizzard, like, just get a couple of soft serve ice creams, get a, like, a mixer, and voila, you just get a blizzard. Um, that's basically what a blizzard is. It's just ice cream with some mixing. It's just, you know, just... Vanilla or chocolate ice cream with mixings into it. I mean, don't waste your time in these stupid, um, overrated Dairy Queen like this. That's all I have to say. Okay, anyway, we're going to be starting up off with the, um, flavors here of, um, chocolate ice cream. Uh, so flavors of ice cream um, from both these, uh, places here. Uh, Kimball Farms, uh, apparently has about, uh, kind of about the same amount of, um, flavors as Bedford Farms do. Um, uh, I kind of, um, counted, I count, counted all the flavors, um, about these, uh, pictures themselves here. And Bedford Farms has about, um, 36 flavors, ice cream flavors alone on the window, while Kimball Farms... Has yeah, about 40 flavors. Um, that's in. I mean, um, and you know, Bedford Farms claims that they have about um, oh 60 flavors, but I actually counted um, the flavors of hard ice cream alone, and so therefore, uh, Kimball Farms um, has about the same amount of flavors. But actually, I actually, do have a couple of um, um, things that are missing here. I I don't see um, chocolate. Um, death by chocolate out there, uh, but actually there's a couple of um, but well, there's the same amount of flavors. I actually um, do have a couple of exclusive flavors in um, Bedford Farms. Uh, neither less that, but the rum raisin um, is actually um, it's actually a Bedford Farms regular flavor. Well, on the Kimball Farms, um, they actually just um, do. 
Uh, they actually is, is, is a specialty flavor. And um, yes, Kimball Farms actually um, has about uh, about 10 or 15, uh, maybe 10 or 15 flavors that rotate along, as well as a couple of seasonal flavors, which is um, including uh, ginger snap molasses and pumpkin. I did have the pumpkin last year when I had the apple crisp. Um, it was pretty good ice cream. Um, pretty good. Um, it goes together with the um, apple crisp ice cream um, last year. Um, and um, but I haven't had the ginger snap molasses, so I'm gonna have to try that out um, this uh, fall here. On the other hand, Bedford Farms does have its um, pretty good things. I haven't had the chunky chocolate um, pudding yet, uh, but. It really does pretty look pretty good. I, um, there's um, going here. Maybe I'll and there's actually a, a new to feature flavor that's going to be having um, coming up soon. Unless, coming up soon uh, for a limited time, which uh, provides here. It's actually called the Golden Ticket flavor. Um, that's what we have to do with here. Anyway, both these uh, things contain oh yeah your basic flavors: vanilla, chocolate, Oreo, and um, let's get, Oreo. Strawberry coffee, both these things have it. Um, Kimball Farms, uh, the cookies and cream is actually the Oreo. Uh, they have mint and cookies, which is actually a uh, mint and Oreo here, and um, yeah, and they also have the chocolate mint Oreo um, a couple of times, and uh, which I actually have a couple of times. Another featured flavor. Um, They actually have pistachio nut. Um, I think it's a pro I, I think it's actually a Kimball Farms um, exclusive hard ice cream flavor. Well, interesting enough, they actually had they actually had pistachio nut as a yogurt only flavor. So, hmm, eh, maybe I don't know. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, that might be there um, a couple of times. Uh, that might be there in a regular um, thing as well here. Um, Black and Raspberry, Kimball Farms, and Bedford Farms have it. Um, red Raspberry Chip. Um, I think th um, that equals the Raspberry Chocolate Chip. And... Um, and I think that the chocolate chocolate truffle, um, it's either the death by chocolate or either that or the uh, chocolate chunk and pudding here, um, as far as you know, Ken Boss Farms here. here. Um, Toll House cookie that's actually equal to the uh, that actually equals the chocolate chip cookie dough in the Ken Boss Farms. Um, so that's uh, basically the flavors here. Um, there is actually one exclusive flavor at Bedford Farms, which they don't serve at Kimball Farms, I don't understand, is that it's Green Monster. Where is Green Monster, Kimball Farms? Oh, Christ. They have Kahula Crunch. Um, believe it or not, it has alcohol in it. I didn't have anything because it has alcohol in it. That rum raisin. Um, actually, that's a Kimball. Uh, that may be a Kimball Farms um, exclusive. Um... For Bedford Farm, uh, 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 for Bedford Farm, um, anyway here. Um, they actually have a um, Kimball Farms also actually, actually have a, a pretty fair amount of um, yogurt and soft serve flavors as well. Um, so, um, but at the Kimball Farms also um, they um, have um, the new tart flavor, yogurt tart flavor, as well as um, eh, what else? What else? The Mango tart um, yogurt they have there, and kind of interesting um, <laughs> about the yogurt flavors at uh, Kimba Farms. Uh, but you know, I can just um, buy a couple of M and M's, um, buy a couple of ice creams, mix it up, and uh, buy a saucer, and voila, you get a blizzard. <laughs> you probably have. I probably need to have a, a mixer there anyway. <sighs> Okay, that's about the flavors. Uh, we're talking about the prices here. Um, a small, medium, and large um, ice cream is actually um, pretty much the same price and the pretty much the same size. 
um, I saw a small, medium, and large. Um, they're actually, um, actually, it's a kitty small and large ice cream um, at Kimball Farms and Bedford Farms. And as you can see, and um, I saw them. They're actually about the. They're, they're exactly the same thing. It's like, oh, Bedford Farms. Hey, we'll copy. We'll copy your sizes and. Um, the sizes of the small, me small, kitty, and large um, is actually quite um, directly by the same. Um, Kimball Farms and Bedford Farms is actually a small, is pretty much a soup like cup here. Um, and they put a couple of scoops there. Bedford Farms does the same things. A large is actually a um, cup, sort of like you have in a blizzard. Um, it's pretty much about three scoops of ice cream there. Um, but. Needless to say, um, these are the prices there are pretty much the same as well. Um, about four dollars and something like that for a large, and three fifty for three sixty for a small. Uh, three sixty, three seventy five. They're pretty much the same prices um, as a small and large um, um, ice cream there. Now let's take a look at a couple of um, key differences about the. Um, Okay. Now let's take a look. Now let's compare a couple of um, Sundays here. We're gonna start with the um, brownie Sunday. Um, Bedford Farms and Kimball Farms, um, and, and the Bedford Farms, the sun, the brownie Sunday is actually put into a cup, um, like a blizzard-like cup with the brownies. Maybe um, they're actually in the bottom of the cup here, um, with the, and they have a little Cool Whip on top. Uh, with some hot fudge. Um, I did that with a um, green monster. Um, <clears throat> back when uh, and um, I went to Bedford Farms the first time when I was uh, like, oh yeah, we're going to celebrate the f um, 100th anniversary since the uh, uh, the year. But I actually uh, did a um, brownie Sunday with the green monster. It's actually like a. It's actually um, basically a cup of ice cream with um, brownies in the bottom of it. Um, they put some fudge on the top and um, some whipped cream, and um, that's a brownie sundae from things here. The brownie sun and, and meanwhile the brownie sundae at the Kimball Farms. Um, it's pretty huge in size. Um, it's basically three scoops of ice cream. Uh, with brownies in the bottom of it, you can actually choose your own top. You can actually choose um, your toppings here of nuts and um, nuts and stuff here. But the one problem about Kimball Farms is that you're only limited to one flavor of ice cream. And I'm like, man, three scoops of ice cream. But on the on the other hand, uh, Bedford Farms suffers the same problem um, here. The brownie sundaes are it's a little bit more expensive than the. Um, Bedford Farms brownie sundaes, um, but you get a big heaping portion at Kimball Farms uh, brownie sundaes. Brownie sundaes are six twenty-five at Kimball's. Uh, about in the, f I don't remember, but about in about five dollar range at uh, Bedford Farms, um, like this here. Okay, but the banana splits. Um, Now comparing these two things. Now, now comparing these uh, two um, things here. This is the uh, first of all. This here is a banana split from Bedford Farms, and actually, quite ironically, um, a little story that I have to tell you about um, the Bedford Farms. Um, I walk in the I, I walk up on the counter and um, say, "Okay, I want to have a banana split." And to my mind, it's three flavors. Um, so I choose into three flavors. By the way, uh, one of them is the. White River, whatever it is here, which is actually um, a vanilla ice cream with um, caramel sauce and uh, some chocolate in here. And um, I forget what the first flavor it was here. It, it was the Mississippi Mud. Um, this is the second uh, flavor here um, that I had here, which is, I think, yeah, it's probably the Mississippi Mud and the uh, white uh, here. And then um, the lady uh, uh, on the menu says, okay, I have these two in the, uh, uh, the Mississippi Mud here. And I'm like, I'm ordering a banana split. There has to, I mean, there has to be three flavors in the stuff here, and uh, apparently um, they actually do self, um, serve a banana split, but it's actually a banana boat uh, that they have here, which has three scoops of ice cream uh, instead of two. 
And um, but anyway, um, this is a banana split from um, Bedford Farms. Um, a banana boat is, I think it looks like this, except for three, um, it's, actually, it's actually three scoops instead of two. This is a banana split from Kimball Farms. And I can tell you, um, the Bedford Farms location looks big, but it's actually quite pretty reasonable on the size, uh, size here. But if you want, if I, but you want to put them, these two things side by side, um, it's huge amount of ice cream compared to um, the banana split. I mean, um, yeah. Same gold set for the uh, same gold set about um, the. And I think even the banana boats um, are probably about this size. Um, you want to have a banana boat and put the um, banana splits from Kimball Farms side by side. Kimball Farms. Um, I mean, it. I, I mean, it's a pretty good size there. I mean, really. Uh, by the way, the Kimball Farms um, banana split. Um, it actually, um, this one ordered. This one I actually ordered here. It seems to be. Oh, it's all three of them chocolate. Actually, it's not. Um, one of them's chocolate peanut butter. The other one's chocolate mint Oreo, which is uh, a featured flavor, and the other one is chocolate chocolate truffle. Uh, that's a banana split, and yeah, it's. It is quite ginormous here, and um, um, yes, of course they ate the whole thing on the left here of the Bob, uh, the the um, Bedford Farms banana split. But this one here, um, I ate half of it, uh, and my stomach was full. <laughs> At near the end of um, before my stomach was full, I actually go, um, I actually touched two of the flavors, but I had to eat a couple of the third flavors before my stomach was just full. And by the time it was done, it was like, just still a pretty good chunk of ice cream left. And it's like half of it was soupy melted <laughs> because there's just so much ice cream there. Um, look at this here. Price-wise, um, this is where it gets you. Um, the banana split from um, Bedford Farms is six twenty-five. This is just a scoop, uh, the two scoops of banana split. The banana boat here, which is... Uh, looks like this, except you have three scoops of ice cream, but still much smaller than the banana um, splits in Kimball Spar and Special, uh, which is basically the, which is basically this without the bananas on there, um, is uh, the banana boat is seven twenty five. Um, Kimball Farms um, this year um, is six seventy five for the banana split. Six fifty for the special, which is basically this sans the banana. Um, the brownie sundae is actually six twenty five, uh, which is a little bit of a quarter less than um, the banana splits themselves. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty uh, good. And I think volume wise, I think um, for the amount of ice creams, Kimball Farms is the winner there uh, because. Yeah, it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take you a long while, and be sure to um, put some sort of barrier so that the eat the um, eat where um, the plate is to prevent it from um, spilling over. Because yeah, it created a pretty good a pretty good melt over. Uh, I I'll call I call it a melt over when the ice cream melted. I think by the time I was done, yeah, it was soupy. Um, and the ice cream was <laughs> there, but needless to say, um, both of them have both of them does pretty have really uh, good ice cream. And um, I mean, that's what I have to say about Kimball Farms and Bedford Farms and like this. And um, I think both these and um, I actually rate these both these places four out of five. Um, Bedford Farms have lack of seating outside, and it's like, oh yeah, you, there's no tables. So you have to sit on the bench in order to in, uh, enjoy your ice cream. And that, and um, if you want to order a banana split like this um, at Bedford Farms, keep in mind you only have two flavors. I've learned that out last um, Memorial Day when I eat this um, things. When I um, eat the, um, well, when I order the um, 
when I ordered the banana split here. But so if you want to have a true banana split at Bedford Farms, um, have a banana boat. Uh, that that's the one that has um, that's when you get the normal banana split there because I mean, yeah, many many people expected three flavors, but you know it's a banana split uh, about here. But anyway, um, Kimball Farms does have a lot of activities um, other than uh, an ice cream, but I think anyway, um, Kimball Farms and Bedford Farms um, is. It does have its. I think they have their own strength and weak points. Is there, but um, try both these places out because um, they're pretty good. Um, if you want to have, if you want to and really enjoy an ice cream one day, Kimball Farms, especially on a hot day, and order that banana split um, when it's like really, really hot and like this here. But keep in mind that you shouldn't. But keep in mind that yeah. Um, don't hoard it every day or else your numbers are going to be bad. You're going to like gain weight here over here. But anyway, these are both pretty good ice cream places. Um, if you're living in Massachusetts, check both of them out here. Um, Kimball Farms. Um, yeah, they're pretty. They're they're pretty. They're uh, right near of uh, good places here. Yeah, um, go to Kimball Farms after a day of um, Davis Farmland in Lancaster. Go to Kimball Farms after Clamp of the Mountain and Jaffrey, and like this. And meanwhile, um, I'm glad there's a Kimball Farms in Carlisle when that um, Brooks Farm um, in Chelsea closed down for about a week. Uh, because of a permit, <laughs> lack of a permit, because it goes, hey, we're going to close down. Thank goodness, thank goodness there's a, I think Kimball Farms had a boost in sales in this one here. And, um, but anyways, uh, Bedford Farms is right near um, Walden Pond. So they're both pretty, I mean, both these places are right near this stuff here. Great alternative to the Dairy Queen and Friendly's, uh, Friendly's unfriendly, um, <laughs> Slow service, yeah. Friendly is a horrible place. Um, like if you want to have, if you want to have a good burger and some ice creams, yeah, Kimballs. I mean, go to the seafood shack, order a nice burger, and have an ice cream later on. And um, even and even if it's on a rainy day, um, I mean, there's plenty of ice creams around uh, like this. But I'm sure that there's um, try try out your local ice cream um, near your houses here. Um, what can we do, um, that could improve the business here? Oh, yeah, um, Bedford Farms, the new, Bedford Farms, the advantage of Bedford Farms, they're open year-round on, like, Kimball Farms. I think Kimball Farms, at least in the, at least in the, um, Westford location, have ice cream year-round, except, you know, from, like, Columbus Day or Halloween through, um, St. Patrick's Day, um, Move your ice cream in the country store that you can still buy ice cream and like this. And I think new flavors that I'd like to have added would include um, eggnog ice cream, gingerbread cookie, um, candy cane peppermint. Um, these are the good um, ice creams that you can have from... Um, from Halloween to Christmas, um, these are the good ice cream places here. I think Kim, I think Bedford Farms does have seasonal ice creams as well. Yeah, um, pumpkin in the fall, um, like this. But this is me, um, Kimball Farms versus Bedford Farms. Who is the winner? Well, it's still hard to say because I mean, Kimballs and Bedford does have its strength points and weak points here. Both pretty good ice cream places in Massachusetts, and um, yeah, JD out, and we all scream for ice cream. And one last word: please eat responsibly. And yes, overconsumption would lead to health problems. So please eat them in moderation. Remember to eat your fruits and vegetables.